Hello my friends, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a very special edition of a get ready with me slash tutorial. We're going to do Valentine's Day date night. Hubby and I are going to go out. We're going to go have some yummy dinner and we celebrate not on Valentine's Day only because everything gets super packed um, on the day of. So we kind of do either a before or after and we just enjoy it just the same, almost better, just because there's less crowds. So that being said, I kind of want to just bring you along, show you what I am doing for Valentine's Day date night. And hopefully it inspires you in some way, shape or form to pull out those Valentine's Day shades and get ready. So if you're interested in hanging out with me, getting ready uh, for Valentine's Day date night, my date night. Just keep on watching. Before we jump into it, I do want to show you what I'm going to be using really quickly. I am using a combination of eyeshadow palettes. You guys know I love doing that. It helps me get more use of my products. And there were two palettes that had exactly what I was looking for. The Love Palette by Natasha Denona and then the Sakura Blossom Palette by Violet Voss. This one had more the light pinky romantic shades and this one had more of what I was looking for as far as the deeper and then satiny metallic shades. So, hey, listen, com combining is awesome. As far as the face, to give you an idea, listen, I went all out pink, okay? So I do use the Jaclyn um, Cosmetics, what is this? Cream to powder blush stick in the shade Empress. Does it get more Valentine's Day than this? I think not. And then lastly, for the highlight, I mean, come on, I can't not use the Natasha Denona Love Cheek Duo. This is all Valentine's Day all the time. So we're going to use the highlight out of this bad boy. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I did also use, I already put it away, an Urban Decay glitter. You will see it in the demo. Um, yeah, I feel like it was kind of a let me use some of my more pink standout products that I don't use in a long time, that I haven't used in a long time. Um, but it's not perfection. I'm just being upfront with you. I'm not an expert. So <laughs> let's get into the demo. Let's get into the, not even demo, into the get ready with me, come hang out with me and get ready with me for date night. So starting off with a very fluffy blending brush by Sephora Collection, I'm going to go into the Natasha Denona Love Palette and grab the shade Valentine. This looks pretty dusty pink in the pan, but it's actually a lot more pigmented than you would imagine once it goes on the eye. But it did give me that light wash of pigmentation that I was actually looking for, for more of a gradient pink type of look. And so I did layer this a couple of times, again, because it is deeper than what it is in the pan, but I was looking for, you know, a little bit extra. So that's going to be what's on my transition slash crease. If you are wondering what I'm doing or who I'm talking to, Listen, sometimes you just got to sing along to a Disney movie and Moana, you just can't help it. <laughs> so going in with the shade Intense, also from that Love palette, I'm going in with a smaller blending brush. I believe this one's Sonia Kashuk, a little more detailed, a little more precise, and adding some depth to that crease area right under that Valentine shade. These two shades pair so well together if you are a pink lover as far as eyeshadow these just go very very well give you that kind of ombre look this one is perfect again for adding depth it's just the perfect shade of valentine pink then i'm just going to add a touch more of that valentine shade up over that intense shade just to kind of replace what I lost. Now going in with a MAC shader brush into the Violet Voss Sakura Blossom palette and I'm going to go into the shade Wild. Now this one's even a little bit more rich than the ones we just used from Natasha Denona and this is why I wanted to combine the palettes because the Natasha Denona had the lighter romantic shades of pink that I wanted and this Violet Voss palette has the more um, not intense, but the richer shades of pink. So in essence, taking it from light all the way to a more rich shade of pink and adding that to the outer and inner portion of the lid. Just adding two or three layers, honestly, whatever works for you as far as um, how you want to build it up. So obviously, um, I went in with another layer here and just adding to the outer and inner portion of the lid just to bring out that intensity. Now 
Next, I'm gonna go in with my, you guessed it, Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. This is my tacky base that I will be using for this satin slash metallic shade that's gonna go on the middle portion of the lid. So just kind of patting that down, placing it where I am about to place that shade from the Violet Voss palette. So now we're gonna go into the shade Sakura from that Violet Voss Sakura Blossom palette. This is the most beautiful shade of baby pink. So it has that intensity, but it is just so soft, so romantic, and it pairs well with that wild shade we just put down on the outer and inner portions of the lid. It just really makes it stand out. And of course, paired with what we put in the crease and the transition, it just all ties together. Just all these different flavors of pink <laughs> coming together. Going back to my shader brush, and I'm really just laying down a little bit more of that wild shade where I may have lost some, where I kind of went a little too far with that Sakura shade and just kind of overlapping them just so that they kind of blend together, mend or mesh together and uh, look a little more cohesive. So now I'm going to go back into that uh, Valentine, uh, sorry not the Valentine shade, Intense, and I'm going to place this down um, again where I may have lost a little bit and I kind of just want to bring that back out. I really want that differentiation between all of the pinks that I've put down. So now going in with my Urban Decay um, liner. This is a glitter liner. It is, listen, it's getting old. It's getting a little clumpy. I gotta put it to use. So just using a liner brush by Sephora. I don't have the liner here in front of me, so I will list the name of this glitter liner in the description box below. But just grabbing some on a liner brush, um, and I'm trying to be precise when I go into the, into the crease area, but Obviously, it's getting a little clumpy and stuff, so I'm just kind of having to, you know, you use what you can. <laughs> so just kind of placing it down carefully because I don't want this to be sloppy. Um, as it turns out, some of it did end up moving a little bit. That's okay. You do need to let this dry down a little or it will move. It's a kind of a watery-based glitter, but it's absolutely beautiful. And paired with this type of pink eyeshadow, it just all goes together so beautifully. Um, it adds such a sparkle, a twinkle. Um, it adds a little extra something when you want to take your look over the top or to that next level. So I'm extending it out just slightly. Almost had wished I hadn't done this because I was going to do like a little extension cat eye thing so that then underneath I could go in with my liner. Um, but you know, anyways, trial and error. But Soon as I'm done with this eye, I'm gonna take you over to the next eye, no voiceover, but that way you can see me do the other eye as well.
it's time to work on the face, let's go into the Jaclyn Hill Cream to Powder Blush Stick in the shade Empress. I feel like there is no, like this is the epitome of Valentine's Day in a makeup product. This pink is everything. I really also like this formula, by the way. I'm using a Real Techniques cream blush brush and I have to say this is the most fantastic brush I have come across for applying cream products. It's so amazing. I'm seriously considering getting a backup, which I don't typically do, but it's wonderful. And this pink just adds such a beautiful flush. It's in theme with Valentine's Day and it just really ties into the eyes. I am adding a couple of different layers just because the first layer did go on a little bit more light, like a flush of color, and I wanted to amp it up just a little bit. I wanted my cheeks to be pink and rosy, just everything for this holiday. <laughs> now going into the, I think this one's the Love Duo, I forget, Love Cheek Duo, anyways, by Natasha Denona, and I am using the highlight that goes with this duo. So this is a very beautiful um, glazed kind of finish, um, but I will tell you as I try to get glue out of my lashes that it does run slightly gold, so I don't tend to reach for it as much as I would like. However, listen, the hearts um, on the product and then just the fact that it is a love palette, it calls for being used for Valentine's Day. And I'm just applying that with an Anastasia A23 highlight brush I did go in with a couple of layers on each cheek and down the bridge of my nose. Now, for lips, I was going to use the Bite Beauty lipstick in, I want to say this one's meringue, but as soon as I started putting it on, I was like, Oh no, this is not the cool tone. I'm not looking for a cool tone pink. So I switched and I went over to the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in Wish You Were Here. Now, this is the perfect, I think, it's the perfect shade to tie into the eyes. It's not, it's kind of like an in-between. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's almost like a rosy tone, but my goodness. A couple of hours later, I remembered why these lipsticks, I don't reach for them as often, and that's because they are so drying. They are the type of matte that will parch your lips. But with that, y'all, this completes the look. Happy Valentine's Day. All right, loves. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. I will head out now for my romantic date night with hubby. I am super excited. And before I let you go, just a couple of things. If you did enjoy this video, as always, I would just appreciate a thumbs up. Truly, it helps. It just takes a second to click. <laughs> but it really does help me out. Um, I've been on the struggle bus with trying to post frequently and I, it is impacting my uh, viewage or whatever. So anyways, but it's the struggle you face when you do work full time, uh, when YouTube isn't your full time thing. So anyways, there's that. And then subscribe if you're new. I'd love to see you again here and chat makeup with you in the future. And then before I let you go, I just need to give you a very quick verse of the day. Of course, on what other than love, Today's comes from Deuteronomy 30, 20, and it says, love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to him, for the Lord is your life. Alrighty, friends, thanks again for hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next one. On the topic of Valentine's Day, please know that I love you so very much, but Jesus loves you more than you could ever think or imagine. Talk to you soon, friends. Have a great rest of your day, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.